Hello everyone, it's Brandy Janae here. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you my 2020 bucket list. So if you are interested in seeing this video, please continue to stay tuned. Thank you again for joining me today. I'm going to be creating my very first winter 2020 bucket list for things that I'd like to do with my family for this holiday season. I decided not to do a Christmas list because I probably won't get most of these things done before Christmas. So I'm just going to keep it winter in general. So I have a few different items that I'll be using and then I'm going to go ahead and get to planning. Today's project, I am going to be using my weekly undated traveler's notebook. I will also be using these blank pages, B6 blank pages. Um, I know that I purchased these on Amazon, but it looks like you can get them directly from handyforms.com. So I will need two sheets of this because they are the exact size of this. And it has holes, but that won't matter because I can just cover those up. And I'm also going to be using stickers from these three sticker books. I have the winter book, the seasonal book, and then Christmas Joy. I have my adhesive runner. And then I think I'm going to use this gold, well, this gold ish washi. I don't know. I'm still debating on the washi. So, let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to use, I think I'm going to use this one. All right. So, first step would be to cover my existing pages. Okay, so the tape runner was freakishly loud, so I decided I should go ahead and just do this voiceover. I forgot to mention that the reason why I am covering up the paper in my planner is because obviously I did not want the boxes to be underneath the design, and I just figured that whiting them all out would just be a hot mess. So that's why I decided to go ahead and cover it up with the paper. At some point, you're going to see that on the right hand side, I also realized that I should have turned the paper the opposite way, which that part is coming up very, very soon so that I could cover up the holes with the washi. So this little project has been fun. I love the gold in this washi. I think it goes well with the stickers that I'm using um, as it's a little difficult to open in the beginning. But eventually I get it all taken care of. I decided to go across the top first. And this is about when I realized, hmm, I probably should put the holes on the outside. <laughs> so again, you live and you learn. And I don't know why, for some reason, that tape runner was like really, really, really ripping that paper. So that's why I got smart about it this time and decided to put the tape runner in my actual planner instead of on the separate paper. So I don't know. I've never seen a tape runner do that before, but you know, life happens. So anyway, I'm going to finish putting this washi down in the top and then I will go down along the sides. And then of course you just use your scissors to trim off any excess washi that may be hanging over the edge. All right, so then after all of the washi is placed, you are going to then take your stickers and go ahead and lay them out inside your book. Because my current pages do not have any dots or lines, you see that it is a little bit difficult for me to line that first sticker up because I'm used to working with either lines or dots or some sort of system that'll help me know where to place things. So I decided to put the numbers on just a little, you know, crooked just to kind of 
not have to worry about making sure everything was perfectly straight because that does get rather tedious and annoying after a while. And so then I'm going to go through and just randomly place the additional stickers. There's no real rhyme or reason to where I'm putting them. It's not, you know, there's no order of things. I just laid them where I thought they would fit best. And I try to find, for the most part, an icon with words instead of just words because I didn't want the words to get lost in, you know, the fullness of the page. So I did try to find some little icons to go with it, but there are a couple that are just words because those are the only stickers that I could find in those sticker books. Right, so there it is. My super cute winter 2020 bucket list. Um, as you can see, I feel like I got a little heavy on this side, which is okay because I can use this side to kind of write some journaling and maybe even insert some actual pictures of us doing the things that I have on the list. Overall, I'm really happy with the spread. This is my first time doing a bucket list, so I do really enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoy it too. Please be sure if you have not already done so to like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you can be notified every time I post a new video. And as always, thank you for watching. Have a good day, friends. Goodbye.